Hello everybody, this is Asunkin from PGN. This is the 25th episode of Conquering Super Mario 3D Land. Uh, this is a complete guide of Super Mario 3D Land, capturing all star coins through all levels. In episode, this episode we're playing level 5-4. 5-4 is a subterranean adventure. And although not a very hard level, I seem to be making a lot of mistakes. Doing this one. I haven't played it for a while. I've been playing ahead. So I've played all the way through now to like seven something, collecting all the star coins. So I'm prepared to know to do the next uh, episodes. I'm trying to stay ahead. And this one, I thought I remember better than I do. Nonetheless, I think we'll find our way to all the star coins, no problem. If you have firepower, if you hit this, you get a lot of coins. I don't have it, so I just have to move along. The last star coin, actually they trick you, it's not here. It's ahead a little bit further. This just has a bunch of regular coins. And firepower. Which is always handy and always welcome. Firepower's been around since pretty much the very beginning. I don't think it was in the Mount Mario Bros, but ever since Super was added, there has been firepower. I don't know if any of you actually know what I'm talking about when I say Mario Bros versus Super Mario Bros. Mario Bros. was a two-player uh, game, I mean only two-player, pretty much. You play with a partner and try and stomp on turtles and crabs and stuff and get to the levels. Uh, it was quite a fun game. And you can definitely see how some of the elements carried through uh, to, to even now. game by today's standards, by any stretch. There's a clock down below there. I don't really care for the clocks too much. I get them if they're in, in the vicinity, but I don't like to go out my way to get them. I don't even like them as a game mechanic have a timer. What's the point of having a timer if you can just get more time? Now this guy here, you want to jump off his head twice and then jump up to this thing in order to get the gold star. Actually you want to jump to places, but you have to time it just right. So you run and jump. See, if you get all of the gold flags, I think there's something at the end because each time you finish level with the gold flag, you got a little gold flag in the corner here. And that concludes this episode. Subscribe now to be sure to catch the next episode. Speak.